Hi, this is Kelly from paperbeadrollers.com. When I tell people that I make paper beads, I often hear, hey, I used to do that when I was a kid. Paper beads aren't just a kid's project anymore. And if you're looking to up your game, I have some tips for you. Before we dive in, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss more paper bead tutorials. Tip number one, color the white edges of your paper strips. If you are using paper that is printed on the outside but has a white or craft colored core on the inside, that core is gonna show when you roll your paper bead. Coloring those edges can give it a more polished look. Covering the edges can be as easy as running the strip along an ink pad or coloring the edges with a marker. I've also found that some papers are fairly porous and it can wick up the moisture from the ink and puff out the edges, making your bead look very messy. Metallic ink pads or metallic Sharpies tend to be drier and go on much smoother. Tip number two, use a precision glue applicator. When I started making paper beads, I used your basic glue bottle to apply glue to the bead. But those types of bottles don't really let you control the amount of glue that you put out, which resulted in me putting in way too much glue and smearing it all around the bead. After a few minutes of rolling, that glue would dry on my fingers and it would create little dried bits that would stick to the beads. To eliminate this issue, I now use a needle-tipped glue bottle. Now, I actually first saw this in a squeaker chip video, and ever since then, I will use nothing else. I even carry them in my store at paperbeadrollers.com, along with a stand that holds the glue bottle upside down so that the needle tip doesn't get clogged while you're working. Tip number three, a smooth and shiny coating of glaze. A beautiful, clear, shiny coat of glaze on your paper beads makes them look so high-end, you almost can't even believe that it's paper. So how do you get a look like that? Some people will dip their beads into a hardener and hang them to dry, and some people will brush the glaze on. Both work perfectly fine. No matter which way you choose to glaze, you can get that shiny, smooth look. When you're brushing paper beads, use a flat paintbrush. The flat brush allows you to get an even coat on the bead. Brush on very thin layers so that the glaze doesn't drip or puddle on the bead. Now, in my experience, most glazes will start to look a little cloudy after the fourth coat. So try to get the smooth surface in three coats. If you're someone who likes to dip their beads for the glaze, the same thing applies. Do multiple thin coats and let your beads thoroughly dry between each dipping. You may wanna try the salad spinner method. You can find posts on how to do that method in my Facebook group, Paper Bead Fanatics. And tip number four, finish your beads with findings. Adding a bead core or a bead cap to your paper bead goes a long way toward achieving that polished look. You can purchase bead cores to match the standard bead roller sizes at paperbeadrollers.com. You can also use bead caps and just glue them on like you would use it with a traditional bead. And if you wanna get really fancy, you can glue on tiny rhinestones and fingernail decorations to get a really, really fancy bead. Tip number five, use a slotted paper bead roller. You can roll a bead using a toothpick or a skewer, but because there's nothing to hold the end of the strip in place, it's hard to get the tension to roll the bead tight and straight. While variations in each bead is part of the charm, a tight and evenly rolled bead is going to look more polished. Using a paper bead roller that has one long slot that holds the end of the paper allows you to place tension on the paper and roll it exactly where you want it. It helps you get the exact shape you need and to look very uniform and professional all the way around. And of course, you can purchase paper bead rollers at paperbeadrollers.com. I hope these tips help you step up your paper bead rolling game. Come on over to Paper Bead Fanatics on Facebook and let me know what you're working on. Until next time, happy rolling.